Hey everybody, welcome to episode 5 of my web series show. I'm your host, Shanice, aka Tipster, and today I will be talking about exercising. Alright, too much? Either way. Okay, so my apologies. I was supposed to be talking about uh, snacking in a healthier way, but unfortunately I did not have everything prepared today. So instead, I'm just going to give out tips about exercising. Before we get started, I have to put in two very special notes, even though I'm sure everyone already knows it, but just in case, it's very important. So the first thing is, you always want a good pair of gym shoes when exercising. It doesn't matter if they're old or if they're brand new. You definitely want a good pair that is actually enclosed, so no holes in the shoe. And it's always important to wear gym shoes because they actually have a good grip at the bottom and they're good and flexible. So it doesn't matter what uh, company or whatever, but a good pair of gym shoes that are comfortable, not too big, not too small. The second thing that's very important is water. Always, always hydrate yourself with a cup of water, a bottle of water, or the ever so famous now own personal bottles of water. I like this one in particular because you can actually fit ice into it so you don't have to um, wait for it to get cold or anything like that. Although they say that drinking room temperature water is better to raise your metabolism because your body doesn't have to exert extra calories in condensing this water down to room temperature, or I'm sorry, body temperature. But I love a very cold glass of ice water. My first tip about exercising is if you prefer to purchase a gym membership, that is great. That I don't want to discourage anyone from doing that. Kudos to you. But the most important thing about purchasing a gym membership is that a lot of people will purchase one and they only go like once or twice a year. You want to, uh, if you're going to purchase a gym membership, you want to actually use it. So please be honest with yourself. If you don't think that you're actually going to go, then don't purchase a membership. What you can do is see how, if, how your workout routine is actually going on your own because you, in the, at the end of the day, you're the one who has to push yourself to actually go to the gym regularly. I would say check out a couple of gyms and see if they actually have a free pass. Now, one of the gyms that are becoming very popular, Planet Fitness. Technically, they're not a gym, but let's be real, they're a gym. They're open 24 hours, they're nationwide, and their membership is actually only $10 a month. I know a couple of people with the Planet Fitness membership, and they like it. Me personally, eh, not so much because they don't necessarily offer two of the main machines that I work out on, which is the basic elliptical and the stairs machine. That shouldn't discourage you, though. If you like them, like I said, go ahead, try to grab a, grab a pass just to look around, see if they offer it, and see what gym best fits for you. Whatever the case, if gym memberships work out for you, shop around a little bit, but more importantly, be honest with yourself. Second tip is, remember, if you're trying to lose weight, you did not gain it overnight. I'm more than sure that you didn't gain three to five pounds overnight, and if you did, Stop your search with YouTube and looking on what's wrong with you or WebMD. Consult a physician. That is not healthy, that's not good, and unfortunately, it may be a more serious issue. So, remember, keep in mind, you didn't gain this weight overnight, so you're not going to lose this weight overnight. It's As the saying goes, if you cut corners, you're going to get cut short. So, keep that in mind. Try to be patient. Don't wait until the last minute or until something goes wrong with your body. Just try to remain as healthy as you can. And remember, if you're trying to diet and exercise, dieting is good, but you want to think of it as a lifestyle change because once you start exercising and dieting, you're going to feel amazing. You're going to feel better rested. You're going to feel better eternally, internally, and you're actually going to have more energy. You're going to be energetic and ready to do things and get out there. So, speaking as someone with more than enough experience on losing weight and gaining weight, please keep that in mind. You're not going to lose it overnight. And my third uh, tip is don't expect to be a rock star. It doesn't matter if you were an athlete in high school or last year or even five months ago. One of the, fo one of the most famous things I remember hearing is Michael Phelps on, I believe he was on Jimmy Kimball, and he mentioned that it takes him about two weeks if he skips two days of working out. It takes him two weeks to get back to the point of where he was. 
if you're missing two or three months of exercising, you can't expect to just go out there and be like, hey, I'm going to go run a marathon because I walk every day. Or, hey, I'm going to go run a marathon because I walk a lot at work and, uh, you know, I walk a lot around my house. Nothing is going to compare to that. Keep in mind that our bodies is aging every day. So when you haven't done it in a while, it's not that you're going to forget. It's not something that, oh, I can't ever remember how to ride a bike anymore. But your body has to build up to that. When I'm trying to build back up to where I was, I always start off slow. Whether that be walking or uh, simply using the elliptical or even the treadmill at the gym. Or, like I said, just walking. You can walk in place at home. You can walk around outside. Or if you just want to just start off even slower, then you can just simply do a very short pace and take breaks in between. Now, for those of you who maybe prefer to just, uh, you're thinking about it, but you're not quite sure, start off slow. Walk at home. Walk in place. Another big huge thing that people are doing is they're actually exercising in between commercials or while they're actually watching TV. By me standing alone doing this video, I'm burning 1.5 times calories by just standing alone. So if you are on the bus or the train or wherever, choose the option to stand a little bit more. This alone is making me work my muscles. So keep that in mind choose to stand as opposed to sitting and think about walking more maybe you're not you don't live in the best neighborhood or maybe walking in place would just become way too boring for you go out and walk around your neighborhood if you don't live in the safest neighborhood maybe think about going to your local park you can walk around the park you can jog you can run if that's what you want to do but again build yourself up to that point and be honest with yourself for those of you who maybe want a little bit more than working out but you don't necessarily want to go to the gym you're at the perfect place you're on youtube right now and don't underestimate the short workout videos that they have there are 10 to 20 minute videos that are available for free on youtube if you like someone on youtube who is a trainer i'm more than sure that they probably have dvds that they actually sell and if you have a cable subscription more than likely you can find an exercise channel that you're already paying for so whatever the case get up get moving people those are my tips for the, for today about exercising i hope they came in handy for you if you like this video make sure you actually click like share it comment me let me know what else you guys want to see thanks for watching I'll see you next time where I will be talking about snacking in a healthier way for those of you who are on the go. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Until next episode. Bye-bye.